How's it going, Pumpkinheads? My name is Skellington Steve, and welcome back to Rexit. So, last time we got started making more dinosaurs. Uh, we also did a lot more with the genetic manipulation. Uh, and I believe I still had something going here. For some reason, my skin didn't load in. I was having a lot of issues uh, getting into the game earlier. Right, I believe I was in the middle of creating the shoot fireballs gene from the blaze. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started here. And then while these are going, what we are going to do is we are going to start making more reinforced glass um because we are going to make more dinosaur pins for our new dinosaurs so um there's really no way that i can move uh anna and paisley at least anna uh there's also really no way that i can think of to move uh the coelacanth or the uh orthocanthus over here who's still kind of derping a bit, just took a chunk out of me. And due to its lust for wanting to take a chunk out of me, I got it out of the corner. Uh, Birdie's got a pretty big cage, but Birdie is carnivorous. Then again, it is very weird that Birdie's carnivorous, but she doesn't try to eat me but the carnivorous fish try to eat me. I'm not sure if I understand how that works exactly. Speaking of which, I should probably feed Birdie. Here, Birdie. Get your food. It's right behind you. There you go. Good girl. So, uh, I think I want to put another dinosaur in with Birdie since Birdie's got a big enclosure. But I'm thinking I might want to make another Titanus and put it in there. Just to make sure that if it's a dinosaur that would just fight with Birdie, that it won't be a big deal. So, let's go down the ladder. Hold on a second. Cortana thought I was talking to her again. You know what? Let me let me shut her off real quick. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Cortana. Um, Okay, never mind. I'll just have to be careful with uh, how I talk, I guess. All right, so let's throw the Titanus DNA in here. And we will get it started. So that way we will have two Titanus. Hopefully... I want to say hopefully the other one is a male, but then again... I kind of hope that it isn't. All right, so that's going. So, you know what? Let's go, let's head to the nether real quick because uh, I kind of want to check on, I kind of want to check on our uh, digital miner, see how it's doing. Ooh. That could have been bad. All right, so let's see here. Uh, looks like the lava pump is still taking lava, which is good. Let's see. What do we got in here? Got some more cobalt. 
Some nether quartz, some nether sulfur. No new ardite though. Oh. Give it a rest. Huh, that must do more than what I think it does. Oops, wrong button. Have to be careful, I can't spam it. They can't catch on fire because they're nether creatures, but... I gotta be really careful with that. Yeah. Okay, so that does do very minimal damage like I thought it did. I just had to be sure. Alright, so let's head back... After that guy kills himself trying to get to me. Come on. Hey. Ugly. You. Come on. Come on. Well, come on. He won't die, but... He won't be my problem anymore. Not that these guys are real, like anything in here is my problem anymore. I'm basically on level with everything in here now. I can fly. I can shoot fireballs. That creeper thinks he can dance. I'm out of power for my suit. But see, this stuff is, this this is why I decided to delve into the genetics, because, see, without my suit's power, I would still not have night vision, I would not have a decent speed boost, and I would not be able to fly. Not that I was able to fly with my suit to begin with, but also... Without power, I couldn't do this. Again, not that I could do that before. So, uh, let's... Um, hmm. I kind of want to get these guys away from my base, but I don't want to blow up my base at the same time. And I don't have a, uh, I don't have a ranged weapon right now. Hmm. Maybe it would be worth it to start breeding up some, uh, infinity on my, uh, DNA. Get it from, uh, skeleton DNA. Because with infinity, I could just give myself a bow and one arrow and then just go nuts. But, eh, like I said, I'm not too worried about it right now. Let's go put this one shoot fireball in there. Uh, let's grab these, put that in there, take that out, put that in, take that out. Alright, let's go check on that Titanus DNA. Looks like it's ready. We have a Titanus egg. So let's head over to Birdie. Whoosh. Let's see if Birdie behaves. We'll stay here. We'll let this hatch. I'll eat a potato. 
and an apple or two because I'm hungry. Wanna be right here when this thing hatches. So that way it's tamed to me. It bounce. Yes, Birdie, you're gonna have a new roommate. Once she, once it decides to come out of its egg. Come on. Come on. Come on, little one. Come on. Now this really is Jurassic Park. I'm sitting there holding the egg, urging the little thing to come out of its egg. Huh, it's daytime. Come on. Come on. Where'd Birdie go? Oh, there you are. Come on, Birdie. Come over here and see your new roommate hatch. You know, I just got to thinking, if this is a male, maybe the female Titanus are docile, but the males are aggressive. So maybe if this is a boy, maybe it will try to eat me. Hmm. Well, these are the risks I take. Being stuck at a... Well, being stuck dealing with this. Come on. What, Birdie? You're being very talkative. Would you like some more meat? That's a male. There we go. We have a male and a female Titanus. Now you may be asking how I know that is a male. It is because the coloration is different. And apparently it did not try to eat me, so the males are not aggressive. So... The Titanus are very docile creatures, docile carnivores. Awesome. Oh, I saw that. There is a mine shaft underneath my base. Hmm. I wonder if I didn't quite tame this thing. That's why it wants to eat me. Or maybe it just wants to eat me because it wants to eat me. Because it's not taking any of the food. Wait, hold on a second. It's not eating me. It's not trying to eat me. Oh, no. Now it is. Okay. So... I guess that thing just really wants to eat me no matter how much I tame it. I can be there when it hatches, I can feed it food, but it will always want to eat me. Alright, so, 
first things I want first thing I want to do is I want to get I don't need okay I do have a blank uh, blank schematic so what I want to do with that is learn how is make it learn how to make reinforced glass which needs glass and glass so glass I need glass paint or I need actual glass uh, let's throw some sand in the smelter get that going while we're here let's see I gotta take a look at my DNA table so that way I can see if something comes up that I don't already know okay so that's still that's still uh, shoot fireball DNA. So I think maybe I get uh, fire resistance from a from a pig man. All right, I need one piece of glass so that I can do this. All right, so the formula for reinforced glass is that, right? Nope, other way around. It's glass and that. There we go write that schematic down all right now as long as I have the materials I can make glass or reinforced glass and as much as I need so we'll just do that uh, feels like the first few episodes again where I'm getting into the security stuff learning how to make reinforced glass and things it's nice really brings me back All right, let's get rid of some of this stuff. There we go. Do I only have one scraper left? Oh, no, I have two. I don't know where that torch came from, but I have another torch now. All right. Thirty-two. All right, so let's go take a look at our specimen list. Let's see what we want now. So let's see, we have, hmm, raptors, T-Rex, stag, hmm, Gallimimus, Carnotaurus, oh right, I was going to make a Brachiosaurus. Actually, I did make a Brachiosaurus. It's around here somewhere. I could have sworn... All right, I put it in here. Ipsilodon, Stag, Brach. 
All right. So let's make a nice big enclosure for a Brachiosaurus. So let's see. We also need reinforced stone, which is cobble around actual stone. So we have plenty of that, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to make a lot of this stuff actually, so. One more. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five stacks of this stuff. We can stand to make some more, so I might as well 